Canadian Running is in Boston for the Boston Marathon. I'm Sinead Mulhern, the web editor. Uh, with me is Rachel and Hannah. Uh, so we're asking Rachel and Hannah a few questions ahead of Monday's race. So start for starters, uh, you have been in Boston since Thursday. What's kind of like your impression of the city so far? Like where are you, where's your headspace at heading into the race? Yeah, I feel uh, really relaxed and comfortable. The John Hancock team and all the staff here has been really great in taking care of us. Every detail has been covered really well, right from when we arrived. And we just feel really lucky to be, you know, staying in such a nice facility and have such great care. So a really warming atmosphere, which it really helps going into such a big race to help you feel relaxed and at home. Yeah. yeah it's been perfect. And you mentioned that you have run the last 10 miles of the course already, which is great. That's going to be a good prep, I imagine. Just tell me a little bit about that experience and how you're hoping that's going to help you come Monday morning. Yeah, it was really fantastic that we got an opportunity on Thursday afternoon to see uh, the last half of the, the course, or the last quarter, rather. Um, we were supposed to actually come out here for a training trip in February, but that got cancelled for a snowstorm, so um, it was nice to get this visual and to get a sense of the hills, that's what I always wanted to see. Yeah. Uh, you know, you can think about things in your mind, but until you actually run it. Um, and now it helps because going into the race, I can visualize myself running. Exactly. Running strong in the last, uh, last part of the course. You know exactly what it's going to look like. You've yeah. been here before. Um, speaking of the hills, I know that everybody who comes to Boston is kind of talking about, you know, it's a moving moving course, you have to practice the up, but also the down. Uh, but you have experience on hills, you've run hilly courses in the past, so what's, what are you kind of thinking in terms of the hills, like are you nervous, do you feel like you're quite well prepared considering that you've done the Pan Am course before, yeah. for example? <laughs> yeah, I think that's, that's definitely the silver lining in any really tough race such as the Pan Am Games, is that because the hill was so hard and the conditions were so tough, that was probably yes. my hardest marathon and probably will be. <laughs> so going in, you know, you're always going to want to conserve energy and run really smart on the hill, so I want to make sure I run at a pace so that I've got really good energy for those, because they are going to feel tough at that point, but as long as I can maintain momentum, think about my form, and just make sure I've got all those details for the time, and just anticipate, yeah, there's going to be some sections that are going to feel a bit harder, but yeah. at least there's, you know, kind of equal downhills afterwards, so Yes. Really get the momentum back. So. And what about training this winter, like, how has it been going? I know you've really uh, ramped up your training, and you said that it's been going well these past few weeks, so why don't you just kind of talk about how that has unfolded for you in the past couple of months. Yeah, so I think any challenge of a April marathon is that you know, the reality in living in Canada, you're training through winter, and that's, yep. I'd say, the <laughs> highest time to get injuries. It's just tough conditions, as we all know. Yeah. Uh, so unfortunately, yeah, I did have a bit of a setback um, with my foot uh, earlier on, so that's what... That's why I couldn't run world cross country. But now in hindsight, I'm, you know, I'm feeling a lot better. I've had a really good solid last month of training, completely pain free. Um, it's almost like every day it started to get better. And yeah. that builds up your confidence when you, you, know, you have a couple of really good long runs and workouts. So I'm feeling a lot better now. Good. And I think in hindsight, you know, everything happens for a reason. And yes. now I actually feel stronger. Do you still think that, I know that going in initially, maybe we talked a few months ago, and you were saying that you're set to run a PB. Do you still think that you're going to see a PB in Boston this weekend? I would love to. I mean, that's the goal in any race is to try and run personal best, try and beat your best time ever, and we'll just see how the conditions are, you know, wind and temperature considered. Um, but I would like to go out at that pace, at PB pace, and try and be as consistent as possible, so right. that'd be fantastic. <laughs> and I know that you're a person who, when you go to a different race and you're checking out a new city, you tend to stay a while afterwards. Uh, so what are some things that you're just kind of looking forward to to check out in Boston while you're here? Yeah, um, today or tonight actually we're gonna go see the Boston premiere. Uh, oh, so it'll be very interesting. Nice, so, good. Yeah, that's, we're fun. really looking forward to that. Um, and afterwards, we'll just take in the sights of the historic Boston, the right. culture, go for a nice meal Monday night, and yeah, nothing too fun. Good, good. Okay, well, best of luck. <laughs> yeah, thank you.